It was called DeSales Hall when he arrived in 1968, and no, Maher Hall is not named for Mike Maher. Way back when, I was in the uh, seminary, and uh, after you completed two years of junior college, you had an option of going to six different colleges. The University of San Diego sounded great. My good friend Dan Dillabo and I packed a car and off we went. We stayed in a $5 hotel in Amarillo, Texas, and poor Dan didn't sleep all night because he was worried about somebody stealing everything that we had. Uh, the first day after we got here, Mike wanted to uh, make sure we got to the beach and uh, brought a surfboard. And so I said, well, Mike, do you want to go in the water first? And he said, no, I just want to get my picture taken next to the board so I can send it back to Michigan. Got to the beach, I got my picture taken, and uh, that may be as close as I got to surfing. Starting a family with his wife, Mary Beth, and starting a career in the Merrill Lynch bullpen, Maher also somehow found time to jumpstart the USD golf team. You know, I was fortunate enough to play the golf team at USD, and when I was playing, we just, you know, we got six guys together and we played. When I came back, um, I said, you know, I would really like to take the program and see if we can take it up a notch. So Jim Brevelli was working with the program at the time, and I said, Jim, you know, why don't you let me take a shot at it? And the next year, we went uh, Division One. It was Mike Maher there at the beginning. It was Mike Maher that pushed us through in Division One competition. It was Mike Maher um, who brought us to where we are today so that we can now compete on a national basis with our golf program. Mike Maher really is USD Golf. Uh, the USD Golf program right now is currently ranked 80th in the country. Uh, when I took over five years ago, we were about 220th. So we've made a lot of leaps and bounds, and a lot of that is because of Mike Maher and his support. Without his help over the last five years and the, and the 15 years before that, uh, the golf program will be nowhere close to where it is right now. And not only is he a great help when it comes to, to the financial side of the program, uh, but he's basically a second father to me, and he's been one of my best friends over the last five years. And USD Golf is a success, even if Maher's own game always isn't. Is Mike a good golfer? Uh, I can probably say best saying he's a very devoted golfer. I have played golf with Mike uh, uh, a number of times. We always have a good time on the course. He's a much better golfer than I am. I think most of us would say Mike isn't the greatest golfer. He is the best dressed golfer and the best equipped golfer, and he has a passion for the game. Now senior vice president at Merrill Lynch, Maher is a man with crystal clear perspective. I was very fortunate to have a job that I could start at 6.30 in the morning and have pretty much my day finished at 3 or 3.30 if necessary. That's when the kids got out of school and kind of put the golf clubs aside for a few years and it was important for me when the kids were that young to, to be able to be a, you know, a coach and a father. And so I think I added them up. I coached like 16 or 17 different teams for all of them. He is appreciative. He um, lets us know how, how good it is when we're together as a family. It wasn't only ball games, it was handbell concerts, it was, you know, school plays. Um, we were there. I think he just loved being with his kids and um, it, it really showed in the amount of time that he dedicated to it. His old friend says Mars' dedication to USD couldn't be better recognized than with an award named for the university's co-founder, Mother Rosalie Hill. Mike has been uh, someone who, I think like Mother Hill, um, could step back and see things that other people can't always see. Mike does that with his family, um, his loyalty and dedication to his church, to the diocese, and uh, his work, uh, just about everything that he does. In December, I uh, called and asked if he could help us with a, a new project, a senior getaway. And he began his talk, uh, I think, in a very significant way. He said uh, he lives his life on the 80-10-10 principle, that 80% of what he earns goes to living, 10% to savings, and 10% to giving back. And he said, I've never regretted that. And the 10% always comes back in many, many other ways. So I thought that's kind of in line with what Mother Hill would uh, have said. Again, it goes back to the old saying that you only take so much and you have to start giving some of it back. USD means and uh, meant a lot to me. I love being part of it.